stand-up comics yeah. and actors and producers. Give them a round of applause. Yeah. I'm so happy to be joined by Councilmember Harris Dawson and Councilmember Ken, uh, Curran Price. They have played a very integral part and this being my, my last Black History Month celebration, I could not have done it without the help of you two guys. And I want you to know I'm going to come back next year to see what you guys <laughs> come up with. Right. Now, I know there are a few people that are saying the only reason why Herb Wesson is honoring black comedians is because he is a failed black <laughs> that, that, that's, that's not true. I was hilarious. <laughs> I was just undiscovered. <laughs> now, Bob Bloomingfield was a failed comedian, not me. <laughs> Bob is funny, Bob is good. But folks, comedy, <laughs> it, is, it is easy to make people sad. It is unbelievably difficult to make people laugh. And people don't quite understand the, the importance of humor. We, I believe, have a representative here today from one of our largest health care providers, Kaiser. Did you know they have humor therapy? Because comedy makes you feel good. Comedy helps heal you. These are not my words. This is scientifically proven to be Speaking of that, uh, how long do you think we're going to be going? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we To summarize, if your knee hurts, Eddie Griffin will hold you up as long as as you need to be out. That's the truth. But anyway, this is a great celebration for some great people who have done some phenomenal things, not just for this country, but the world. So at this point, we're going to roll the video. Uh, Albert, you're going to come roll off all the names.